Finally tonight here, Made in America is back, traveling across the country all this month. And first stop, the famed Green Monster. And it turns out a perfect Made in America shade of green. Made in America and tonight walking into Boston's Fenway Park. Built in 1912, the oldest in the country. And part of its lore, the Green Monster. But before we take you there, the tiny but colorful shop beneath the stands. Hey, this is the paint shop. This is the paint Show shop. me what you got. Bob Devlin first came as a Red Sox fan in the early 60s. Now he's been painting here for 26 years. And there's one key color. Looks familiar. Yes, it does. And there's a name for it. Do you know what it's this is? called fence green. Fence green. So that's it. Benjamin Moore, fence green, made in America. And Fenway painters have been using it on the green monster for years. When I was a reporter here in Boston, I used to come to Fenway all the time, but never quite had access to the field like this. But we were there this time with the mission, a Made in America one. Fenway Park. That Benjamin Moore paint used all over Fenway. The field pads too. So let me ask you this. Most people are watching the game, but are you, yeah. are you watching saying, oh, there goes a player right into one of my pads? <laughs> <laughs> then he hands it to me. Yeah, you can go now. All right. Bob, the veteran painter, inspecting closely. What do you think? Beautiful. There's also the yellow for the famed pesky pole, named after shortstop Johnny Pesky. I heard this is tradition for people to sign this, and then you come around and... Exactly. It's just a battle going back and forth. So we... Linda, Tracy, and Jason... <laughs> Sorry, guys. Bob puts us to work again. But where do they perfect that yellow, and more importantly, that green? 38 miles away, Milford, Massachusetts. Manufacturing manager Bernie Hilton on the line for 34 years. So there's your green monster. And back at Fenway, getting the job done long before the Red Sox take the field again. And as we approach it, the retired player now helping to train. Pedro. All right, Pedro Martinez on our way to the Green Monster. The scoreboard is still done by human beings behind the Green Monster for them working a game. And just how big of a job does Bob have on his hands every year? I just wanted to give you an idea of how tall, how big this wall is. Take a look up. It is 37 feet, 2 inches tall. And the original reason they built this wall? To keep the people over on Lansdowne Street from checking out a free game. The historian. Historian Gordon Eads. Got a little uh, green monster yeah. uh, paint on me here. Bring it on. Taking us inside that scoreboard. I noticed they've got the Cracker Jacks ready to go. The metal numbers painted fence green, each of them about two pounds, 16 inches tall. And you can just slide it uh, right down in here. All right. Congratulations, you Thanks, are an man. official scoreboard operator. But this reporter from New York, by way of Boston, is very careful when it comes to the score. While back at that plant tonight, go Sox and something else. Made in America, we love it. And don't you love their actual human beings behind that scoreboard? Thanks for watching here on a Monday night. I'm David Muir. I hope to see you right back here tomorrow. Good night. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.